Hey. <laughs> it is I, uh, Unalia, again with another vlog. Yeah. Hey everyone, this is Unalia. Hey. Hey everyone, this is Unalia. Hi. Hello everyone, this is Unalia. Hey. Badass computer chair in the computer chair. <laughs> computer chair. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna sit here in the sun and get sunned. Oh, sun. Oh, yes, sun. Mm. Hello, everyone. Today I'm going to be actually, sorry. Hello everyone, my name is Yunali and I'm going to be doing some cleaning of stuff today. Um, I've already cleaned out the fish tank yesterday, so I'm doing the um, kitchen and these bottles that I don't have today. So yeah. Hope you won't mind. It's kind of fun to watch. I think I might turn y'all like over here. That way, y'all can actually see all the magic. Yeah, there we go. That's better. All right, I'll be right back. All right, so my dad, he likes to find bottles and collect them and stuff. And so as you can see, this one's got rust and stuff all over it. And um, it's got moss on it and all this stuff. So what we're gonna do, we actually did this before, or I did, um, where I cleaned them and such. So what I'm going to do is I need some hot water. Some hot water. So 
me and my dad, we, um, like I said, we like to find this stuff. And I don't know where to put my finger in because it's disgusting. Uh, okay. I might now have AIDS. <laughs> I uh, didn't see this. I don't know what that is. Oh my god. Okay. So this is a wine bottle, apparently. And Dad found it. Actually, Pacha and Dad found it at the creek. So, yeah. I have no clue what this stuff is. But. I'm going to fill it up. Give it a few shakes. This might be the best it's going to get, but this, as you can see, says wine on it. And it's one pint of wine. One pint. You can see a one pint is right there. Um, this stuff needs to have four set up. This is the bottle that's going to give us most trouble. So, it's got all that dirt and sludge and such in it from being in the, um, the creek bed. You can smell that water, you can smell it. Ew. I haven't smelled this smell in so long, oh god. It's got oh whoa. Okay. Woo! Here's silt, here's sand, stuff. I don't know what this thing is. Um, the bottle doesn't say. Take this bottle and use it to clean up this 
club because it got very dirty. So when my dad gets home, we're going to fill these things with Clorox and yeah, it's going to have some fun. The head of it's already caved in, which means sharp edges around here. And the just came off. And um, this one's fairly cleaner than the other one. But it's a one pint wine bottle. So. Yeah. Wow, okay. Alright, let's clean the outside first. Alright. There we go, that's better. I don't really know why me and Dad like to find bottles like this, but it's just a fun thing to do because, yeah. Alright, I guess I'm going to have to do the same thing I did last time. Um, shake it up a little bit. 
I'm surprised this one's a good bit cleaner than the other one because it hasn't been under the ground much. So that one looks a whole lot better. It's not as dirty and stuff. It must have been afloat for quite a while before I got punctured or something. Um, so there we go. I got this plant now. So when handling a bottle with the metal on top of it, you've got to be careful not to get cut. Um, thankfully in my case I didn't get cut. Because <laughs> that was just very trash of me to do with that gloves. Um, when you're handling a bottle like that, you want to wear gloves. But I didn't have gloves at all, so I didn't say. Uh, all right, so what I want to show you all now, I actually need a towel. Uh, a towel. Um, I'm going to show you all. I want to show you all the bottle that I had gotten a few years ago. Um, it's pretty interesting actually. Here, let me face you towards me. Yeah. There we go. So this is my favorite bottle of them all that I found by myself. Um, it was by feeling, actually. Something was calling out to me and it was just really weird how I found it. Um, I combed this area at the farm where my grand, my dad's grandparents used to live. I went over the, the places several times, the entire place several times, and I kept having weird feelings in one particular place. This is actually another bottle that we found there. That's a wine bottle, one pint. So, as you can see, we worked a whole lot on this one. I did. Um, and I got it really, really spiffy. And it's the same, same height, same everything. So, if it doesn't have a top, this is what it's going to look like. Unless we get the Clorox in there and such. Um. Oh, here it is. Here we go. Here we go, baby. <sighs> so, this is my gin jug that I found. Um, I love it so much. I it was it was really buried. It was one gallon of a gin jug, and um, I was really really surprised. I found it. I I just this is my favorite finding ever at the farm. Um, it's amazing. But um. There used to be some sort of little ring around right here because I can see the imprints of something like used to be right here, but um, I don't really know. It was like a sticker or something. But anyways, so this is my gin jug. Um, the area that I was looking, kept looking at and stuff, it had a bunch of tin, like tin roofs and such. And so I would have to like literally peel away the tin roofs. And I found this and some of this on like under the ground, like popping up. And I reached for it and I pulled this thing up. Now my grandfather, my dad says his grandfather had um, about three of these. And the other two I never found, but they're probably gone. So this, something wanted me to find this, and it is amazing. I, I just love it. it. Be it my my dad's grandparents or something, they wanted me to find the one gallon gin jug. And I actually respect that, because <laughs> I want to unearth all of all the history of the old days in that area. 
as as much as possible before the land takes it back over and crushes it or something. Um, so this is this is my favorite piece. And it's my, my parents, my mom's favorite, it's my dad's favorite. Actually, it's my dad's most favorite of everything um, because I unearthed something of his past. And, um, yeah, he's, he's really proud of this. <laughs> he's actually really surprised that I found it, how I did. And I honestly don't know how I found it, how I did, but I did. And it's awesome. <laughs> oh, um, I also, oh god, shit. I also found, let's see, what, what was the other one? No, nope, it wasn't it. Alright, I also found this. So it's just a bourbon bottle or something. I think. Yeah, a liquor bottle. There we go, a liquor bottle. Very fancy liquor bottle that we unearthed also while there. And, um, yeah, <laughs> we just like them because this was a very fancied one right here. Um, it was really cool to find this. So we also found a horseshoe and <coughs> something else. I don't know what we, else we found, but yeah. We've been, we've been finding a lot of bottles down there. And it's all from the old days, too. Which is really special in its own way. Because, like I said, we like to find these, these bottles. There's so many different bottles. They're just amazing. So my job here is kind of done. Um, I can't do anything else with the bottles. But I will tell my dad what all happened. And it's and I knew I'd seen these two bottles before and I couldn't I just wasn't sure but I actually do remember now that we cleaned up one of these other wine bottles and stuff. <sighs> okay, now on to the kitchen <laughs> to do dishes. <laughs> 